Hi, I'm Ming-Na Wen, and uh, I was born in Macau, China, when it was a province of Portugal, but now it's part of China again. And I grew up in Hong Kong, New York, and now I live in LA. Oh, and I forgot Pittsburgh. How can I forget Pittsburgh? I've always wanted to act. Um, ever since I did this um, play in third grade, I was a little bunny rabbit. I just remember I was so excited and I, and I got out on stage and I tripped and the audience laughed. But instead of feeling embarrassed, it, I was just so elated that I made the audience laugh. And I think that's when the acting bug bit me. Of course, my mother always said that I was destined to be in the arts because of my nose. I, there it is. <laughs> my mother reads faces, and apparently this particular nose ascends to the heavens. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what my mom says. She takes all the credit for everything I do anyways, so, yeah. My mother was not supportive in the beginning. I think as any um, Chinese moms, any Asian moms, not to stereotype, but majority of the time they want you to have a career in something that's very stable and prestigious, and that would be a doctor, a lawyer, or any other profession than the arts. The arts you do as a hobby. <laughs> that's the general consensus. and. Um, my mother wasn't different in that respect, and I think in her mind, she was always concerned when I was interested in acting because she feared that not so much that I would be re getting rejections and I would have to deal with you know a hard life getting work as an actress. She was more concerned about the casting couch, and you know she just really believed that you had to sleep your way to the top. <laughs> You know, which I did, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, Mom, I did not sleep my way to the top. Um, <laughs> I did it the legitimate way. I went to Carnegie Mellon University and got a degree in drama, which also astounded my mother that, you know, in America you could actually get a college degree in drama. She didn't believe me until, um, you know, I was graduating with honors. And uh, she was like, oh, American school is so easy. Um, <laughs> I love my mom. But then once I started getting work and started becoming more successful in the business, that's when she really uh, was very proud and very supportive. My mother is really one of my biggest role models and inspiration in everything. I mean, if you ever watched the film, the Joy Luck Club or read the book. Um, I was uh, very privileged and honored to have been part of the Joy Luck Club. Um, it's a book by Amy Tan and directed by Wayne Wang. And uh, she is the Joy Luck Club. You know, she went through the Cultural Revolution. Her family lost everything. She's a survivor. She uh, was a nurse. Uh, in China, and uh, and that meant that you know she had intelligence, and she uh, had to downplay all that in order to uh, survive that time period. And then for her to then bring children to America, not speaking any English, and um, you know raising kids in this country, she is truly. Um, the most dynamic woman that I know. And she's so modern for someone who uh, is such a traditionalist at the same time. Uh, she's adaptable, she's um, feisty, smart, and uh, truly one of, one of the most amazing women. Although my mother uh, was very apprehensive in me choosing a career to be an actress, and more than anything, she wanted me to be a doctor, a lawyer, uh, you know, any of those supposedly successful, prestigious careers. I ended up being a doctor, being a senator, being a judge, an FBI agent. What else did I get to be? Oh, yeah, a shield agent, and I get to save the world from inhumans. So, 
think I did pretty good. <laughs> After I read Amy Tan's Joy Luck Club, I wanted to partake in anything if they ever made it into a movie. I remember literally thinking that. I didn't care if I was a PA, I didn't care. I just wanted to be a part of the movie because the book had such an impact on me. I didn't realize that there were other Asian Americans who was dealing with the same struggles and the same identity crisis and generational gaps as well as cultural gaps with their parents. And Amy just nailed it each and every time with each of the characters. So to have gotten the opportunity to even just audition, I was so excited. And then to win out and get one of the lead parts, you know, I got the part of June, that, that was truly sort of like my green card into Hollywood. It's been very interesting the last couple of years uh, to see this new trend happening in Hollywood, which is kind of surprising to me, considering how China, especially, is becoming such an incredible force in cinema. And that films now and television shows like my show right now, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., is so global immediately. It's not like other countries have to wait three or five years before they can catch our show. They catch it immediately. And so to have that going on and at the same time this kind of like backwards step in Hollywood where there's been several incidences where characters that were specifically Asian is being given to Caucasian actors. And that's astounding to me because on the one hand, I understand about economics and about needing to make money and needing to have the big names, but if it's not serving the story, then you're not serving the entertainment value of that story. And sometimes they cast the whitest of Caucasians, you know, like Emma Stone in Aloha. Um, and, and Scarlett Johansson, I love her. I mean, come on, she's, you know, the Black Widow, for crying out loud. She is incredible. And, and, and I'm a huge fan. But, um, you know, Ghost in a Shell was a very specific Japanese anime character with a Japanese name. And I know she's a cyborg. However, <laughs> it's a Japanese cyborg. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I, I'm really hoping that Hollywood is listening and realizing that we aren't the timid Asian Americans anymore. That we do speak up now. That we do have a voice. And as a mother, I have two lovely, Chinese American children and I want you know I'm I'm my voice is now for them there are a lot of big name stars in Asia so they could have plucked any of them and or give us the chance you know if Asian Americans don't have the chance to star in films and television roles how are they going to become big names it's, it's a catch-22. It's funny, when I wanted to pursue a career as an actor, never ever occurred to me that one of the perks would be to be a role model. And in fact, I actually didn't like the, the label of being a role model because I felt like it would limit you know, what kind of roles I could take because it, when you kind of put up on a pedestal, you feel like you have to live up to it. And I, and I didn't want that. I've been going to these cons and, and I see um, the impact Mulan has had on young girls and their mothers. Yes, Mulan is 20 years old. So there have been girls that grew up with Mulan and had been so inspired by her. When I hear those types of stories, it, it leaves an impact on me because there is, there is something wonderful about being able to inspire and to motivate and, and as well as entertain. You know, I've always just thought of myself as an entertainer. So being a role model 
it's, it's a privilege and it's an honor. And I think sh programs like I Am is impactful in the same way. You know, it's allowing Asian Americans and non-Asian Americans to get a peek into our struggles and what we have to do um, and, and to become successful, that we're not the model minority, you know? We're individuals and we're not, we're not privileged in the sense that we all come from these incredible families that have money. I mean, my parents were laborers, you know? They worked 15 hour days at a Chinese restaurant from morning to night to be able to provide for their families. And I really think shows that kind of look into the psychology and the personality and uh, the similarities that we all share, the universality of being an immigrant as well as being just an American. And I think I am really serves that well. And I'm very, very honored to be asked to do one. I am Ming-Na Wen, and I am woman.